The bill we are here to discuss today is H.R. 7187, the Protection of Women in Olympic and Amateur Sports Act. The purpose of this legislation is simple. It modifies eligibility requirements for amateur sports governing organizations. Specifically, this bill adds clear definitions of men and women in the Ted Stevens Olympic and Amateur Sports Act. It further states that biological men cannot participate in competitions designated for biological women and girls. Ensuring equal rights for women has been a long and hard fought battle. However, every day we are seeing egregious examples of men increasingly intruding into protected spaces for women. From female swimmers being forced to both compete and change in the locker room with the man who changed his name to Leah Thomas, to the recent decision by the USA Boxing to update their rule book to include a transgender policy, women and girls are being pushed aside and given no voice in the matter. A recent decision by USA Boxing is particularly troubling. In a sport where the purpose of the competition is to strike your opponent, USA Boxing is permitting men to punch women. Not only will women be forced out of titles and championships in boxing, but they will risk serious injury. Look no further than the tragic story of Peyton McNabb. In 2022, Peyton, now an independent women's voice ambassador, was a volleyball player competing at her high school in North Carolina. A man playing on the opposite girl's team spiked the ball into her face and head. And I would urge all of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to watch the video to see what they are advocating for. Peyton was knocked unconscious and is still dealing with long-lasting injuries from this incident, including impaired vision and partial paralysis on her right side. To those who deny the existence of this issue, it is very real, and women and girls are getting hurt. The left will stop at nothing until women and girls' sports are erased and eradicated. Let me be clear. Congress must act to protect these rights and opportunities that women fought so long for. Let's take this common sense approach to protect women and girls. Thank you, and I yield back.